Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 Permadeath Series. So, I was able to get level 2 last time. We should probably get level 4 today, uh, if not higher. We are going to be starting a new thing in the guild, and that is every month you will be given a chance at either uh, you can get either a thousand plat to your main character or you can get a gate potion on your permadeath character. So this will give you the ability to get out of situations, uh, go back to your town, whatever you want to use the, the potion for, for. I honestly have never used the potion I don't know if it's an instant cast or anything along those lines, but uh, definitely something that will help your permadeath character out. Now, uh, like I said, this will be once a month to the person who is the highest level in the guild. So uh, if you're interested in joining, we have a Facebook page called No Time to Res, which will also lead you to our uh, Discord page. So that you can uh, get on, let us know who you are, and also uh, you can post pictures of your character. We have obituaries for those who die. Uh, at the uh, end of each month as well, we will have a guild meeting where we remember those who have fallen and uh, also celebrate those who have rised to certain levels as well. So it's, it should be uh, pretty fun. Uh, so come out and join. So today I really would like to get uh, get some more bone chips. Do the bone chip quest. I'd like to get a stack. I have 10 now. I'd like to get a full stack and then go in and uh, turn those in. After that, I think the next thing I want to do is go to Steam Font. Uh, in Steam Font, there's those kobolds. So yeah, should be a fun day. Hopefully you enjoyed the last video, and um, if you did, if you want to see more, go ahead and, you know, hit the like button, or hit that little bell, that way you get notifications when the videos go up. I'm going to be uh, posting every day that, I, um, that I'm that i playing, which will probably only be once every other day, because I do have guild responsibilities with my mains. It took me um, a long time to get the last... Oh, ding! Yeah! <laughs> um, to get the last video done. But that just was because it was more of an introduction to the character. And uh, also introduction to the, um, the different race class situation that I was going to be. So, we have, I, I believe, six or ten people in the guild now, and we are growing, which is fantastic. People are excited about um, playing a permadeath character. Some, some people weren't excited about the fact of rolling for their character, which I understand that you're, you're having to, um, to play a character that may or may not be what you like personally. But, again, you may or may like what you end up getting and still die. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is one of those things that, yeah, you, you might um, not like what you get, but you might end up living better because of it. Or you might get what you like and you only last maybe until level two. So, <laughs> it's, 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 um, it's up in the air. You never know. You never know what's going to... What's going to happen with your character in each given day or each given situation? So, uh, yeah, I'd say um, just do it, man. Have fun. And um, we have a community here. We have a really uh, expansive Discord page. We have obituaries. We had our first death as of today, which was a Ogre Shadow Knight. And that's just because um, that zone that they have to uh, level in is, is not the easiest. And I should probably uh, take a rest here for a minute. Uh, get my health up. Just because, you know, got to be cautious in these days. 
Especially with bone chips, or uh, not bone chips, but skeletons, they stack on each other. I think Craig's are still yellow, and I don't even want to try those things, but, um, should, I guess. Hey, Goblin. Good thing is, is that as the rogue, I'm, I'm doing a lot of damage to these guys, and it's making this a whole lot easier than, than it, it would normally have been. Okay. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. Mm -mm. No, no, you don't. No, you, no, you don't, Craig. Craig always being the stupid guy who gets in the way. You know those Craig guys. <laughs> Save me. All right, we're we're good. Let's uh let's get that health up real quick next to these guards. All right, let's go ahead and turn these in. Uh, also, I still have yet to get any armor. Hopefully, this quest will yield me some armor. I'm really hoping to get um, Backstab. I think that's my first ability that I get. And I get that at level level 6 or so, I think. Uh, that's I think that's what I remember it being. Yeah, we can actually check real quick. Hey. Oh, we're level 3 now. We should probably check out... Those rats, though, those rats are probably going to be... Uh, oh, level four is Dodd. Five is Picklocks. That doesn't really matter. Um, or, yeah, Picklocks. Seven is Pickpockets. Where's my backstab at? Ten. Oh, man. So, four, I'll have to definitely get Dodge. All right, let's go ahead and turn these in. I'm going to crouch, as always. That's the way to do it. And we'll go ahead and hand him four bone chips. And got legs, yes. Got legs. Give me a good chunk of experience. Oh yeah. Light up the place. <laughs> So we got 50% on that. That's actually not bad at all. I'd like to do the rat quest. So hopefully we'll be able to kill rats now. Though I'm going to be cautious because I don't know if any of the um, NPCs will attack them if I, if, I, um, if I bring them to them. So I'm going to have to consider that if I get to 50% health... I need to be running to the zone line. So let's go ahead and check out these rats. They're going to be even to me. I know it because at level 2 they were still yellow to me. I don't know if they were a hard yellow. Or if that's true. If it's a true con. Also, don't know if they're going to add. So I'm going to have to try to pull them back. Alright, let's get down here. Good thing we have our lamp now. We can actually see. Hi, guys. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where's my rats at? Oh, hey, hey. Stabbed. Your stabs. Oh my god, they hit hard. Oh, no, no, no. Not doing it. Not doing it. Don't fall in the water, please. Don't fall in the water. Yep, yep. This hurts. It hurts. So next level, maybe? Oh my god. Please don't. Please don't. Not by a rat. Not by a rat. <laughs> Alright. Let's, um, let's wait maybe two more levels before we try to do that quest. I want to do the quest. I want to know what, what you get off of it.
Okay, I'm level four now, so I think I should be able to get dodge. And then um, the next one is going to be, let's see, dodge, yes. Next one's going to be at level five, which is going to be pick lock. And then at level six is pick pocket. Pick lock. Pick pocket. Oh, that's at level seven. So, yeah. Getting there. <laughs> Getting through the levels. Um, I should probably go ahead and sell to this merchant. Oh, all that patchwork. <clears throat> could probably aff I can afford some. I can afford probably a full set. Uh, let me get situated here and I'll, I'll see what I can do. So, this is probably going to be the last portion of the video. Um, this whole segment here was going to show you that it looks like you can buy um, the full set of patch armor here and I probably have enough to get the full set. Actually, I'm pretty confident about that. I'm going to um, uh, bank real quick, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and sell some other things. Oh, by the way, you can, you can tarnish these daggers. That's 322. I don't know if that's going to be more beneficial to me in the long run, but um, I'm going to use it for now. Let's go ahead and sell that as well. So I have a stack and a quarter of bone chips. I think after this stack um, that I'm going to turn in, I'm going to still I'm going to start selling them because I need to start making money. I think I need what like 50 55 plot to get a full set of ring mail um and i might try to make my armor for um myself but it's costly okay oh wow i'm up to four plot nice let me go ahead and turn in the bone chips first because i might get a lot of those pieces or i might not you never know let's see but yeah, I think the bone chips, um, I, I know I could go up to probably level 6 or 8 on them. But really just want to get to level 5 and head back over to Steam Font. Where I know I can get level 6 or, or 7 pretty fast. And then, uh, and or even up to level 8. I've seen people level 8 still killing the kobolds head over to or kill hmm uh or might go to um somewhere else let me know where you guys think i should go i mean i am i'm fine with traveling that's not gonna be a problem um let's see here It's so nice whenever you get a new level and you uh, turn this, do these quests. It just feels like you're accomplishing something. But of course, this is probably one of the most OP quests in the game, I feel. Um, just because it can get you so high um, so fast. I mean, to level six or I've seen people do this quest until level eight. Give me your armor. Give me it. Gloves. Um, there we go. I might do the next stack also, or at least the five, uh, the four or the five. Oh yeah, I got the tunic. I, got, I mean, I have. I do. I need to even keep that. I'll put it in the bank. You never know be something to remember later on since so i plan on not really banking too many things um yeah let's go ahead and turn these in all right so we've gotten almost to level five today let me go ahead and go buy the rest of the um of this patch armor okay so i was able to get a full set of armor except for bracers i don't even know if there's bracers in that quest line 
but uh, at least I have a full set of armor now. No, that was close. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. It acted. It's acting like. Um, I mean, I have sneak to automatically turn on whenever I move, just so that I can get used to it or get it leveled up. But it felt like I was running through molasses. Maybe it's. I don't know. Yeah, definitely not walk. Is there something, am I overweight or something? My agility is down for some reason. What would be giving me negative agility? It doesn't even give me anything. I don't know why I'm holding on to that. What? Well, something made my agility negative. Yeah, see, now I'm running fine. The heck was that? Anyway, almost died because I thought I, I it was time to try to take on one of those guys and. It wasn't. It definitely, definitely was not time to do that. So I've been recording probably about three hours now. Um, I've been, I've not been recording whenever I take breaks or anything like that. But it, uh, it looks like I'm gonna try to get level five today. Get three levels.
Okay, guys, so it looks like this is going to be the end of the video. Um, I got to level four, almost to level five on my first run. I, I felt it was a great run and was very promising. I'm kind of sad now that uh, I died, but that is how it is so we're gonna go ahead and camp now actually we're gonna go ahead and roll now and then we'll go ahead and remake our character uh, and uh, the next video we'll go ahead and start anew so let's go ahead and random 18 and we came up with five this time which is a human monk so next time we'll be making our brand new character the human monk hopefully you enjoyed this is cypher deck peace out Deeply hold a bruised ear.